Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film these weekly Solo Trip Podcast episodes and we're talking about all things spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. And for this video, I wanted to talk about something that's just been a huge revelation for me that I had probably over the last month or so while we're in isolation and all of that kind of stuff but this revelation is a game changer for me and it is that we are our ancestors because I'll tell you why this is a game changer (laughs) so basically when you think about uncovering the truth or like uncovering what the ancients knew when they were here and all of that kind of stuff like it feels like you're learning something new and like it feels like the information is separate from you and you're having to learn it here in this physical reality but when you think about like the fact that we reincarnate and everything and we're accessing um different parts of ourselves when we speak to our higher self and all of that kind of stuff like our ancestors are actually us because not only is there reincarnation, but then there's also the fact that we're, we are the all, like we're a fractal of the all. So the consciousness that we're tapping into, those memories of our ancestors and what they knew, like it's a memory, it's not a separate part of ourselves or like a separate being or a separate something that we're trying to get to. Like we're literally tapping into a part of ourselves because they are a part of our DNA line, like our ancestral lineage. You know, like it's all memories that are with stored within our DNA that we're trying to tap into and access. So it's not something that's separate from you. And even if our ancestor, like even if you want to think of them as separate beings and separate entities and stuff, like it's still a part of your DNA and still a part of you and a part of your body, a part of the reason why you chose to incarnate into the ancestral lineage that you've chosen to incarnate into. So like, I don't know why, but just I kept feeling like it was a separate thing and something that was separate. I didn't really resonate with the idea of connecting to your ancestors, maybe because I am mixed. So I have like black ancestors and white ancestors and that kind of feels like separation as well and division because of the divisive um, mind control tactics that are used. So I guess maybe that's why I had a bit of a disconnect to the idea of connecting to your ancestors and like trying to get support and encouragement and like protection from them I found that really odd maybe also because I was raised atheist as well but I don't know I just felt like that was really a weird concept maybe you can relate to that I don't know but it just felt really weird to me and I'm starting to realize how I was perceiving it from a separation kind of mindset as if they're separate people when obviously if they're ancestors it means that they've transitioned over they've passed on so they're not even here in the physical but what they are is a memory because memories are energy and that is connected to our DNA when you procreate you're literally passing on your DNA so like we're connected in just so many ways and so many different levels so I'm realizing that it's not a separate thing and that even though we are here experiencing this reality of expansion and we are learning certain things we're also remembering other things and we're also able to tap into the memories of our ancestors and people that are a part of our DNA lineage we're able to tap into their memories too because it's all interconnected and it's not a separate thing and I think a lot of times when we're trying to like uncover certain things it does bring about a lot of separation and division that's something I'm really experiencing a lot whenever I try to learn anything or whenever I look into a certain area of something it always it's like the separation aspect that I have to kind of work through first before I can grasp the concept of whatever the thing is, you know? So yeah, I don't know. I feel like there can be a lot of pressure on us with this path to try and know everything and learn everything and remember everything. And then we look to certain teachers and we can feel inferior and feel like we don't know enough. 
so we need somebody else to tell it to us and that kind of thing when really you're remembering and it's a memory within you so it's not something that you can get from somebody else you have to experience it yourself and do it for yourself and go through that yourself like it's it's literally why we're here it's literally why we chose to fractalize and separate from source separate from source you know it's literally why we chose to do that and have this experience is to learn it from your perspective and your way of going about things you know so we're not going to know everything instantly because that's the whole purpose of being here and at the same time we know a lot more than we realize and a lot more than we let ourselves think or let ourselves believe because that information is not a separate thing from you it's within you it's inside of your heart and inside of your mind and you can access that at any point just by meditating and being still with yourself and stuff so yeah I just thought I would share this message that like our ancestors or a higher self or any other spiritual entity or being or whatever it is that you want to call it like they're not separate from us it's a part of us and it's okay to be human and to not remember everything instantly because that's the whole purpose of us being here it's not like a rush to just know everything we're supposed to experience this and that triggers new rememberings and new information and new perspective you know so it's not a rush and it's not a separation like panic kind of thing it's really just being yourself and just trust in yourself and trust in the process and trust in yourself as you start to learn new things and uncover new things and grow and change like there's a lot of resistance in that kind of process sometimes so so yeah I just thought I would share that little revelation with you and I hope you're all doing well during this time I know it's a little bit crazy still going on right now but it's definitely a needed transition that we're going through. So we just have to kind of trust the process and trust that we are divinely protected. And there's so many tools within us that we can access and utilize, especially right now. It's so key right now. So I hope you're doing well and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Oh, yeah, thinking like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking like me. Yeah, I'm icy, cooling in the white tea. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm the thingy like me, my range all white. Oh, yeah, thinking my, I'm the thingy like me, my range all white.